You know, oh, for me, all right. How you doing, sir? All right. Hi. Yeah, I'm interested. Are you talking? Yeah, okay. You're here for customer service uh, behind the window. All right. Well, I'm just a deputy yeah. that wandered through, so oh, how can I help? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm interested in the sheriff's policy on uh, securing the crime scene, and I've been told that um, you guys uh, like sell thumb drives for $25 uh, for the whole policy, but I really only need uh, the crime scene. Uh, section however I find it and I understand I could look on uh, a laptop to, uh, through your policies I guess I'd be interested in maybe doing that maybe I could even download that okay well let me let me talk to the supervisor and I'll come oh. right back to talk okay, okay. You go ahead. I got five in first. Subpoenas. Yeah, ma'am. I'm supposed to bring you over here and let you check. Yeah, all of it. Uh, did you come to get that purse dismissed so you're going to prove? Did they tow your car? No. Okay. You'll need to take it to the county attorney's office down the hall. Ma'am, my son did all of this. Yes. Yeah. And uh, he's got to go to court. Okay. So if he wants to have any of these charges dismissed, you'll have to take this proof down the hall to the county attorney. I could help you if we had towed your vehicle and you're wanting to get it released. They did tow it. Oh, they did? Okay. It's all in there. All right, I'm sorry, but it says it was not towed. Yeah, I thought you said total it. Oh, total. I'm, I'm, I was on a five inch gun in the Navy. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for your service. And I'm hard hearing. Do you have your ID with you? I got driver's license. Does that yeah, work? Does that work? More doubt. Yeah. Thank you. If you've got the insurance and stuff, they may dismiss the charge. I'll let him do that. Hey, that's not, keep it wrong, man. You can take care of it. Yeah, I'll let him go do that. I, you got a policy? Here is, here is the form you have to fill out. Oh. Request it. Oh, I thought you were going to give me the policy. <laughs> no, not, not okay. Sure. Yeah, I got a, I got this on my email. I, I, okay. I've uh, filled it out. It out. Yeah, the sheriff will be back in about 30 minutes. He's he's and then, and then he's he'll talk to you he's like on a lunch break. Yes. I, I don't I don't need this. So you don't need I, I I have that a, I have it on my email. I got a copy of it on my email. Is it already filled out? Well, I mean, no. I got a blank copy. I could fill out for gen, you know other things. Okay. I didn't know but, if you wanted uh, to stay, stay and wait till the sheriff got back to talk to him. So, okay, he's on like yeah. All right, yeah, I guess. Up. If he's is if he's the only person I can talk to about the, the policy, then yeah, I guess I can come back. So I'll just do that. I'll come back. No, it's gonna require a signature. Nah, I don't see. He he just handed me over two other policies. I I hate to ask individual policies. I'm thinking maybe I could propose just you know this this has got a lot of gigabytes i could just um save all the policies and then i don't have to keep coming back for you. a new policy because yeah. i've already gotten um 
body cam policy and then the, like something like you don't you don't have to give your name apparently cook you don't you, you're not required to tell me your name because uh apparently i could use it for nefarious purposes so uh, yeah. that's 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 in your policy right. so i learned yeah and that's that's about your your code of conduct section right. Right. so it's two two and now i'm learning that you know the crime scene policies is uh more interesting for my i have a criminal case you guys are charging me with and i, I want to learn more about your your uh crime scene um policy because it looks like it, it's i uh, just i just want to learn more about it so, right so i'll wait for the yeah so he'll be back in about 30 okay. minutes he'll be glad to talk to you okay about it. Uh, all right sounds good thank you <laughs> <clears throat> right, yeah, I just want to make sure there's no other uh, evidence for me for my case that's that's new that's to be presented to me in any way up until my I got a, a hearing on the 14th so it's coming up in just a few days I just want to make sure there's nothing new no surprises on the phone. Alright. Mm. Okay, I don't know. What's up? Um, so I asked Mr. Miller if there was any new discovery. Okay. He said, as, as far as my ears are not. Okay. I have a copy of that. But I called the next day. And he said, and, and immediately got up that I would have never been driving if I had known on Thursday. Okay. And I told you I have a um, There wasn't an act. Should me come here? Or you can call and we can email you the. Because how, how do you plan on providing it? Yeah, I can, I can, if you want to just call, make sure it's ready, we should be able to email you the link. Okay, I don't have a phone plan, so um, I guess I would just. You said by what? If you want, just whenever it's completed, I'll yeah. email you the link anyway. Okay, you have my email from the last time we emailed. Okay, okay, so expect uh, a video before court Thursday. Before court, okay. okay, okay, all right, sounds good, thank you. Hey, I, I uh, sent uh, Kim some emails. Okay. Well, do they have access to the uh, the forms for subpoenas? Okay, you you have access to subpoena forms here, but they but they probably have access to the subpoena forms too, because I can walk over here. I'm sure, right? Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is uh, Kim Chanel here? Uh, is she on like a lunch break, maybe? Well, we can certainly check. Have a seat outside and we'll find out. Outside this room? Yes. Oh, you'll come out for me? Oh, she will? Okay. All right. Which one are they? Oh, I have to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit 
Is the sheriff here? Oh, all right. Hi, right, yes. I'm interested in looking at your policy on securing the crime scene. Okay. So um, I brought my own uh, thumb drive. I mean, you said I could look at the, the laptop. I could just, you know. All right. You need to buy, uh, fill out an open record. Or oh, you want to go with that again? Thing. Okay. Right. That's the problem. Okay. Well, I got the, the last two uh, right. um, sections, and I, and I hate coming back and forth just to get section after section. Yeah. Um, you know, and it'd be nice to get the whole thing um, at once. You're saying I got to go through the process, um, but could if you know I go through this process again, you know it's a repeated thing too. It doesn't the first when you first fill it out, that that doesn't care. That's ended. That's 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 its process in itself. And then you start a new process, right? When you you fill out all all over again for getting more information from your policies. But if I if I go through that process again, could I bring in my own? No, no you you wouldn't no, do it. Okay. I mean honestly, you're not a resident, so. Uh, unless there's something special, which we'll we take a look at each open records request. Uh, okay. Uh, individually. Uh, okay. All right. Consultation from, uh, from our attorneys, but you're not a resident, so I, unless I'm missing something right now, you don't qualify for open records request. Okay. All right. And and uh, yeah, that's on the level of just being a, a resident or non-resident thing. But if you have a trial coming up, I mean then there's some relevance, and that's what you'd consult with your attorneys about, right? Well, the, the, the relevance, you would need to do that through the court process, not enough yep. records. Yeah, that's, I was thinking the 14th is coming up pretty quick, so I was thinking, I guess I'll just have to bring it before the judge and ask ask okay. him about, you know, getting further information about your policies on yeah. securing the crime scene. Because I, I find it interesting how, I, you know, I got arrested, and then, we, you know, everybody left that scene, and then two days later, photos were taken of the scene. There was that point of time where there was just nobody there. And it was an unsecured crime scene. And yet, you know, two days later, they still take pictures. I mean, there's, I, I could be associated with anything that happened within those two days. And that concerns me. Okay. You know, just like all you the can, You can bring it up in court. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay. okay. It'd be nice to know now. I got some free time, but it's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I I'm asking and you're shutting me down. So. No, I'm saying you can file an open records request and each one or, looked at individually. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you can take it through the the court system. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. Have a good right. day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do do you know if the judge advocates oversee uh, like lawsuit pay, payouts? If if there's I don't know anything about judge okay, advocates. you can check with the county attorney's office. Oh, okay. All right, because I mean, you know that judge advocates, as far as I understand, you, they overlook all physical fiscal uh, duties, everything that has to do with payments towards a new piece for a building in some way or the body cam or the axon dashboard cams for the for the cars they, it's not a term i've personally heard uh the judge executive's office is at the end of the hall. oh wait am i in the wrong building or the room wrong room you're in the judge executive's office the deputy judge executive is at the end of the hall yeah that's the same thing judge executive and then deputy judge executive they're the same not in the office. Oh, you said not in the office? Okay. In office. Oh, I was looking for the thing on the window. It's okay. Yeah, All right, then. I, I don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, it's not up to you to decide. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Hello. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Really? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, does the judge executive oversee um, like lawsuit payout payouts? Is that something within their fiscal responsibilities that they, they oversee as, as part of their decision making with uh, where they spend money, such as for new dashboard cams or I don't know, new floor for a building or uh, just just general, you know, payroll, payroll payments. So oh, yeah. that's be happy to speak oh sure yeah i just i asked about uh if i asked because i know judge executives oversee pay payments um for the money if you're fiscal it's a fiscal judge they have responsibility of money over all the the departments the the um jail sheriff uh, and, and I, I was told to kind of ask um if if they if you overlook uh like payouts for lawsuits is that something that you the judge executives dis decide on and and authorize they oversee most most lawsuits are um that have to do with maybe a lawsuit against the sheriff departments what typically happens in in um in those cases is um, we file a claim with the insurance carrier okay the insurance carrier points legal counsel and the insurance carrier makes the decision as to okay. sell the case or to go to trial. Okay. Who do you do you know who your insurance carrier is? Yes. Uh, can you tell me? Kentucky Association of Counties. Kentucky Association of Counties. Okay. All right. That's I guess that's all I have for questions. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Hey, is there a rules of the court I could read the book book for rules of the court? I'm not familiar with rules of the court. Okay. Is it a Kentucky thing? Yeah, well, just every courthouse has rules they follow with like the timelines on deadlines for filing filing motions, like how many days before the uh, the next hearing does uh, a response time have? Not familiar with that. Okay. We don't have any ALC documents that way. That is what they said he was waiting for? Yeah. He never came up to talk to you and you never came back. Well, yeah, there's so many people out and you just said, wait, oh, I, okay, thank you. I'm good.
<clears throat> so I have uh, some subpoenas for the training records. So how long do you guys need for a uh, response? Transfer for acceptable. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start. All right, it sounds like you're waiving the seventy dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. 